I thought I'd show you my process for creating a new painting. I'm still in the process of figuring out my way of painting and how I want them to look, so first I wanted to do some research about a few of my favorite artists. I think it's no secret that old masters can teach us a lot about painting, and I especially find impressionistic techniques really inspiring and want to change my art to resemble these kinds of paintings more. I tend to paint more on the realistic side and often get lost in rendering details for hours. But when I think of works that captivate me and make me feel something, they contain fewer and more expressive brushstrokes that create a more impactful image. And that's what I see when I look at paintings such as those of Renoir, Zorn or Sargent. of course one of the most famous impressionists and I bought this book when I was in Paris. And what I love so much about it is that you can see his brushwork up close and just see how these brushstrokes that seem really messy make up such a beautiful representation of nature. I think for this painting I was especially uh, captured by the lighting and colors the impressionists tend to use. I think these strong blues in the shadows especially during sundown make for such a beautiful image. That's why I love Sargent's carnation lily lily rose so much, because it perfectly captures this fleeting moment of dusk. I personally tend to jump right into painting, but I wanted to change my approach to art and start planning my pieces more carefully. I did a small photo shoot with my lovely model during sundown to try to capture this gorgeous lighting and just wanted to sketch him a little bit just to get a feeling of his features and a composition in my head. I then also made a quick mood board, just for my own inspiration, with paintings I love and included my own photos and sketches. I also found some text online describing how Sargent worked and contained his notes on painting, which I thought were really important for me to include. I decided to try to loosen up before starting a big piece, and I think master studies, in my case one of sergeants, of course, <laughs> are such a good practice.
even though it didn't turn out exactly as his painting, I think it's most important to understand the kind of approach and techniques he used to make it. I was happy to be more free with my brushstrokes and not get too lost in details as I usually do. I really want to keep this approach in my future work, and even though I know I'm not there yet, when I look back on paintings I made even a year ago, I know I'm making progress. Master studies such as these, and really looking and kind of analyzing the paintings I love, really helped with this. felt this painting needed to be quite large, which is very intimidating I think, but I thought I needed to push myself to work bigger more often. And I think you can see the lack of big pieces I make by the size of my brush here. I also made a small painting which kind of served as a small inspiration for the colors of the shirt. I then started blocking in the image and tried to keep my brush strokes more simple, but I noticed I was still working too small for my liking and bought some bigger brushes later on to force myself to make more loose and expressive brush strokes.
think I want to leave it here for now, um, just because it needs a while before it's finished. Uh, I feel I'm on a better path to finding my way of making art and hope to share more of this with you in the future. Thank you so much for watching, it truly means the world. See you next time. Thank you.